I'm Jules Maxwell. I'm Lisa Gerard. And we are here. I'm in London. Uh, Lisa's in Australia. We're both here to talk about our album Burn, which is being released on Atlantic Curve on Friday the 7th of May 2021. Lisa, I was wondering if we could begin by talking about the first time we worked together with Dead Can Dance, and you invited me to accompany you on a song called Rising of the Moon, and um, you asked me just to play one note. Yes, it was just so that we could discover the piece together by playing one note each. Right, yeah, and I understood that, and I played one note and then I plucked up the courage to play two notes and eventually the trust between the two of us grew and grew. So by the time we got to the Royal Albert Hall in London, three, four months later, it was this grand opus of a thing with huge accompaniment. it was different and you know that and the thing that was really lovely about the the experience of doing that together is that we didn't really know each other as people but the fact that we're both willing to say take a risk together as artists puts us into a different category if you like and you know where we have to find our find our strength and our courage Yeah, I agree. And in the work that we've done since, not just with uh, Dead Can Dance, but also with the Bulgarian women, and currently on this album, Burn, I think that sense of courage and risk-taking has, has increased and grown. So I have a a theory about working with you, Lisa, Um, but I was wondering if you had any thoughts about what it's like working with me. You know, first of all, I I got a nice feeling from you. I thought you seemed sensitive and I would never surrender, um, you know, and kind of undress my soul in front of anyone if I didn't feel in some way that I could connect with him as an artist. That was really important. I mean, you know, I mean, there's no point in even trying to pretend that you can connect with someone if you don't. Right. Yeah. And I, and I completely agree with that. I mean, I, I've been thinking recently quite a lot about what it's like to work with you and although I'm, I'm not really a horse man myself, I know you love horses, but it seems to me that working with you is, is akin to working with a, a, a wild horse. And in order to unleash the power of that animal, um, you need to communicate with it at a much more delicate, tender level so that it can begin to trust you. That's a really wonderful personal description and I really want to contemplate that. That's really special. 
I don't know. I mean, I, I, all I know is from the first time I ever sang, it wasn't about, it was almost like once the gateway, the gate was open. So it's an interesting analogy that you've given as a horse because it's not really connecting with the horse. It's a being that thing that once the gates open, you can't, there's no way back. And it's almost like it was already there. And all you have to do is describe it. And that's always been, that's why I've never had to sing words or anything is because people already know it. They already know it. It's already in there. It's already in their hearts. Um, I don't even open the gate. It's when, you know, you get one or two notes or you get a few notes and um, we just connect. One the one place and the one time we don't have to have anxiety. Even though it's born of anxiety, it's born of anxiety because you have no choice but to do it. And yeah. at the same time, it's already been done, so you don't have to be anxious. Mm. Yeah, it's like there's real tension in there, but sometimes tension can be a good thing. Yeah. I remember, Lisa, when we were touring with Dead Can Dance in Germany or something, and one morning I came down in the tour bus and you were sitting there, and you and I began playing around with the beginnings of a song and you kept I on. Remember, I remember that morning when you came downstairs. And I remember you singing Maniani, Love Will Overcome, Maniani, sing it again, Jules, Maniani. And I took out my telephone and I recorded it. I still have that recording to this day. Honey, honey. Say it again. Love will overcome. Honey, honey. Love will overcome. Go. Love will overcome. Honey, honey. Again. Love will overcome. Honey, honey. That became the piece that you did for the Bulgarian yeah. boys. Yes. So that went on to the album uh, Buchimish by the Bulgarian Voices. And when I came to your studio in November 2015, we wrote three other songs which then became part of that same album. And from the exact same session that week, I was able to carve the seven songs which make up Burn. And that's, you know, that's another thing that I've noticed about you with the things that we've done together, that you go off and you have your own creative kind of juice and soil and and I love that about working with you is that, you know, you take, I mean, I, I, I probably contribute sort of very little, you know, but I, I, I love the fact that Whatever you do, if someone grows something with it. I know I work like that with Daniel Johns, like if Dan gives me a little bit of voice and I can grow a piece out of it because I know it's so precious and so beautiful.
I'm Jules Maxwell. I'm Lisa Gerard. Our album Burn is being released on Atlantic Curve on Friday the 7th of May 2021.